So I've talked with lots of people who have the idea that heart disease is really a modern thing and that people in ancestral societies didn't have much. On the other hand, I just read an article that said you know, thousands of years ago there was lots of heart disease. What does your data have to say about that? Well, I think that in some places around the world there has been heart disease in the past, but our data are suggesting that a population can live into ripe old age without really having any risk of heart diseases. We so see done, very little so evidence. So you've done lots of EKGs. And how many do people do you see on EKG evidence that they've had a previous heart attack? Well, um, when we first looked at it, we thought that about 50 out of 1,300 people had had a heart attack in the past. But then when we added echocardiograms, most of those were false positives on mm. the EKGs, and they really reduced to maybe one or two. So almost no heart attacks. Now, do these people all die by age 30 or 40, so that explains it? No, and that's one of the really interesting findings of the research that's being done around the world with people who live like the Tsumane. We're finding that if you make it through the early diseases of infancy and childhood, you have a decent chance of reaching 60, 70, 80 years. You have about a 50% chance of reaching about 60 and 30% chance of reaching 70. Now I'm so guessing they don't die so much from heart disease or cancer, but more from injuries and infections and, and the like. Exactly. Um, infection is a cause of death all through life. Infants die of infection at very high rates. Then people build up immunity and they do better, but as they age, then infection starts to increase again as a risk of death, and that is the major cause of death plus accidents. People have snake bites, their canoes turn over, uh, they have accidents with trees, and so there's a lot of ways to die. So they do, it's not so the low, low rates of heart disease are not because everybody's dying young. Um, so you said like one or two out of 1,300, right? Of 1,300 people who are already older, right? Or already older. So how many people would that be in the United States, for instance, out of 1,300 at that age approximately? The majority of people over the age of 60 have atherosclerosis, which is a risk of having a heart attack. Um, not all people end up getting a heart attack, but they're already on the way towards heart disease. Now, if I recall right, you and your friends hauled a scanner into the local area and you scanned people's hearts to see if they had calcium in their hearts, which was an indicator, right? Actually, what we did was we transported 700 tra uh, Tsumane from their villages to a city and then from that city to another city where there was a CT scanner. How, how long did that take to get them there? Usually two days. Each way? Each way. How did you convince them to spend four days of their lives participating in your study? Um, because most people who are older have different diseases that they're suffering from. And by going to the larger city, they get to see specialists that they wouldn't have had a chance to see. And they like the idea of good food and lodging during the time they're with us. They stay in a nicer place than in their houses, which are thatched huts. So it's not just helping out medical research? No, they're not doing it out of the goodness of their heart. They're doing it because they, they feel that we are interested in their well-being, that we're, no, we're not only scientists, but we care about them and we want to improve their health. So I understand you actually spend a lot of your time trying to improve the health of people in the Jumani. Yes, <laughs> it's a commitment that the project has. and We think of it as operating on several levels. The permission to work with them, we need permission from the tribal leadership, and then we need permission from the village, and we need permission from the family, and then we need permission from the individual. and how we have been so successful in getting the permissions and getting people is that they've come to trust us over the years, that we actually are interested 
in their well-being. So it's a partnership that we have, and we even will change our research to some extent based upon what needs they feel mm. we should study.